It's important to keep your flute clean and hygienic. You want it to play well and have it feel and look really good. So it's important to do this correctly. Now, if you're new to flute, then understanding how to clean it properly can be a bit tricky. So I'm going to show you how to do it step-by-step step in today's video. And be sure to stick around to the end because I have a bonus tip for you that will remove the tarnish and make it shiny and brand new looking. Now, before we get started, and if you're new here, click the subscribe button and hit that bell icon. That way you won't miss out on any of the videos that are coming out here regularly. Let's get started talking about cleaning. Well, hi, I'm Rebecca from Learn Flute Online, and something I get asked a lot about is best practice tips for cleaning your flute. It comes up often, and as you can see, just this month alone inside one of my courses, there were over 19,000 video lessons watched by learning flute players just like you. And since we put our lips and our mouths right on the instrument, and they get a bit drippy and very fingerprinty, you can imagine it's a common question, and I'm glad people do ask it. Now what you don't want to do is only occasionally or never clean your flute. It'll turn brown with tarnish, and the keys and the mechanism will slow down and get sticky and sluggish, which doesn't do much for your playing ability, no matter your level. Now, your flute will stay in pretty good condition as long as you do some basic cleaning and light maintenance after every single time you play. It doesn't take long at all the way I do it. I'll show you. So let's get right to it. Immediately after you finish practicing, the first step is to swab out the inside of your flute because it has basically been raining saliva in there for as long as you've been playing it. Now I like to start from the end piece like this by using a silk swab, but you could use any non-fibrous cloth as long as it was made for instrument cleaning. Now sometimes they look like a gauze or a thin non-fibrous fabric as long as it's made for an instrument. Now this is key with the reasons being that fabric such as a cut up t-shirt or a bandana gives off fibers which get stuck in the mechanism and causes all sorts of technical issues with the instrument. That basically means that your keys will get slower and slower and sticky stuck, which is not good. Now also, if the cloth that you're swabbing out the inside with is too thick, it'll get stuck in there, or depending on how you put it in. Now let me show you how I accomplish this first step quickly and easily. And usually, it's on my lap. Now what you're going to do is pick up your rod and thread the cloth through just a couple of inches roll it around the stick so that you can avoid scratching the instrument. You just get good at realizing how many twirls you need to take. And then I send it through the foot joint and push it all the way through, all the way in with my finger. Now, this is a big moment to pay close attention to because step two is to remove the foot joint first and place it safely in the case. Then twist the head joint off and also place it in the case. Even though it hasn't been cleaned yet, we need to keep it there for safekeeping. So now you can continue pushing the swab through the body as far as possible. Now let me quickly explain what would happen if you pulled the stick back out at this point before pushing it all the way through. Oops, the stick comes out and the cloth stays in. This is a serious problem. Has this ever happened to you? Let me know in the comments if it has. Now this can become an expensive issue because it can get stuck and no matter what you do, it won't be reachable and you have to take it to a flute technician who will then have to disassemble the keys and pull it out through the holes. Woo! <laughs> and then hopefully they can get it all put back together again properly, which is a very high tech skill and can be pretty costly. So I want to help you avoid any problems like this. So again, simply continue pushing the stick with the cloth on it as far as you can through the body until it pokes up out the top and you can grab it and pull it through. Then you can place the body carefully in the case and we'll move into the next step, which is step three, where we're going to swab out this head joint as well as we can here by pushing it in and twisting it around and around two or three times. Again, just do your best. There's no real way to get the tippy top all the way 100% moisture free. We try though. Notice that the cloth that we're using is kind of mushed up a bit above the stick instead of tight on it. And this will help it 
have enough space and be able to get onto the top plate and mush around in there and do the best as it can as you twist it around. Okay, after placing the head joint into the case, you can untangle your wet cloth and lay it out to dry. Now be sure not to place this cloth inside your case with your flute. That would be counterproductive by putting the moisture you just wiped away back in with your flute. So now let's move on to step number four, which is to really work over the outside of your instrument so it gets all the oils and impurities from your skin and fingers off of there. Now some people are oily, some people are dry or medium, either way, you just need to wipe the outside of your flute off pretty thoroughly so as to avoid tarnish creep. It kind of gets on there, which turns your shiny flute basically brown. <laughs> now I like to use a microfiber type of an instrument cloth for this step. They just work really well, but in a pinch you can use any non-fibrous cloth. In fact, I'm curious as to which type of cloths you have for your flute. I like silk for the inside, that's my number one favorite, and microfiber for the outside, but maybe you use what came with your instrument or you've had to find your own cloths after you acquired your flute. Let me know in the comment section what type of cloths you use. It'll be a fun discussion. Now the trick is to really wipe it well, avoiding the mechanisms and the keys. Now once, many years ago, I decided to try to use my fingernails and some q-tips to get all of the tarnish from inside these areas where the rods are. Well, it didn't end well. <laughs> Even though I tried to be very gentle, I basically broke some things and had to take it to a flute tech and it was a very expensive repair. And I honestly don't feel like my flute ever played the same again. So learn a lesson from me and don't even go there. So after wiping all the wide open areas, you can wipe quite firmly, you'll want to work on the key tops. Just press and wipe like this. It'll do the job just fine. Now the last thing you want to take care of are the joint areas. Keeping these tendons clean will help your flute assemble and disassemble very easily without any sticking, anything getting stuck, which we discuss in another video here on this channel. Now step five is a bonus tip I'm going to give you here because we all really like the flute for its shiny reflective silver color. And although I've just shown you four easy steps to quick maintenance, this next tip is going to go the extra mile and really make the difference. And that is to use this once or twice a week or more depending on how much you're practicing. It's called denatured alcohol where I live, but I know in some countries it's titled methylated spirits or methyl hydrate. Now basically it comes in a paint thinner type of a can because it's commonly used in wood shops or hobby shops as a cleaner or even marine stove fuel. Now here's how you use it. Now be careful since this is the type of a substance to keep out of reach of children and really be sure you don't spill it or put it on your skin. It'll eat right through certain surfaces, like the lacquer on my piano bench, for example. <laughs> now I like to pour a little into a small travel spray bottle for convenience. Spray it right on the cloth. Now remember to use either your inside or your outside cloth, either one will work just fine. And then wipe the areas of your flute that you touch the most and that you can easily get your cloth to. You'll find this really does the job. You'll enjoy the squeaky clean and elegant look of your instrument and you might find that a really clean flute plays even better for you. I know it does for me. Now I should mention that you can use this denatured alcohol on your cloth as you swab out the inside as well if you feel it needs some extra cleaning or disinfecting. And especially if you have an old flute that you're pulling out of retirement, try this on it. The flute techs that I know like to use an alcohol prep wipe first and then follow up with denatured alcohol to be sure they've successfully killed the germs that might be on there. So that's the method that I use myself and teach my students for cleaning their flutes. It's a successful recipe that'll help keep your flute in good condition and really looking shiny. I look forward to reading your comments and I'm wondering if you ever take the extra step to clean a little bit more thoroughly. Well, once you've done it enough, you get more coordinated and it only takes a few seconds to do a decent job cleaning your flute after each playing session. And I promise it's worth it.
So if you're just getting started playing the flute, the other thing that is important is having a great set of resources to help you make progress quickly and to help you not feel lost. I've put together an excellent free set of five modules containing video lessons called The Silver Level. And in there, there are some beginner lessons to easily get you started making a good sound and flute specific exercises and reading music skills that everyone can benefit from so that you can have the proper foundation to play absolutely any type of music you want, no matter what stage on the flute you are right now. Now there's no charge and I'll put a link down below here so that you can go and get started today. It has already helped tens of thousands of flute players around the globe. So there you go. I hope you found this useful. I'm really looking forward to seeing your comments and having a discussion about cleaning the flute and the types of cloths that you use. I'll link my favorites below. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and click that bell icon. But more importantly, go and explore the other videos here on my channel because there are loads of other tips to help you on your flute improvement journey. Keep it up. We'll see you soon.